My name is Denise Kara. I'm part of uh, something called OSD Net uh, Network, and we support open science for the global south. Basically, we look into ways how open science projects, citizen science projects, can help uh, infrastructure, science infrastructure in the global south, and how the interest in open science and citizen science in the north and south are connected. So currently I work in Indonesia mainly, where I'm looking into organizations that do actively like citizen science projects even since the early 2000s, so it's not a new thing completely. And then I'm connecting it to my other, because I'm an academic and my research is mainly on the hacker spaces, maker spaces, do-it-yourself biology groups around the world. So I'm trying to connect it to this uh, research, which I already did since 2010. Maybe the most interesting organization I work with is called Hecteria, which is um, a network of people interested in open biology that are artists, designers, scientists, philosophers like me. And uh, so we act globally <laughs> in a way. So the organization has members and they organize workshops from Indonesia to Taiwan to Switzerland, different parts of Europe. So we do, we organize these workshops where different people are come or they're invited to tinker with science, build equipment. So we are very interested in, in actually building like uh, laboratory equipment and using open hardware, repurposed um, hardware to build stuff you need for your lab research. I don't see the Global South as a place of lack of science or uh, as a place where we have to diffuse and distribute something. Um, so I was lucky enough to uh, find some amazing scientists in Indonesia, in Jakarta, which is a city with many universities in Indonesia, uh, which inspired me to look like closer into it. And they were always working very closely with community. So it was very much community-oriented research uh, involving like local citizens and um, also much much more open to art and, science, art and science or art and design collaborations, which I'm interested in. So uh, right now we are talking in the West much more about open science because we see that people should share science. It shouldn't be just patented, closed laboratory research, but much more participative. So it's this community project, so why wouldn't uh, scientists, even like science students in the West, work with like local communities on their problems, trying to like develop some small DIY solutions or do pretty much the projects which you see in the hacker spaces and the maker spaces, workshops for people to try science, because what we have in the West are these um, institutions of organizing like public debates or um, public consultancy and uh, similar formats where scientists present and they very often hype the science but why not demystify it and show that it's something that's also prone to mistakes that it's also like complicated that there is a lot of things you have to learn like something more complex in terms of the questions it opens and I do believe you get you gain that once you start doing science so I would like to see more citizen labs more like hacker spaces that do also science so they're open to to people to experiment, to see how science is done, to learn new skills, to try new things, to understand what is going on in the labs. bridging this distrust in society against science and in terms of the global south in general it's like building capacity to do science through having laboratory equipment and also having the confidence in seeing yourself as, as part of that scientific research that is happening and not uh, always someone who has to wait till someone from the west brings you the equipment or does something for you. So I think open access, then publishing data and making scientific research reproducible and um, opening your methods and protocols and uh, workflow to other people to take part, repeat your experiments.